Hello and welcome. In this video, we're looking at a bunch of different properties that justify a given equation. So the equation is 5a squared equals 5a squared. And that just is a reflection of what's called the reflective property, which tells us that anything must equal itself. But let's just go through the other properties in case you see them. The symmetric property tells us that we can read an equation left to right or right to left and still get the same result. For example, 1 plus 2 equals 3. So if I start at the left and read to the right, I know that 1 plus 2 is 3, but if I start at 3 and work my way left, I know it's still the same thing. The fact that we can read equations, this both left and right, is the symmetric property. The additive identity is the number, um, excuse me, 0, right? 0 does not change the value of anything, therefore x plus 0 is still x. In other words, we don't change the identity of x, so 0 has no impact in addition. The same thing with 1 in multiplication, 1 is the multiplicative identity. So here 1, uh, excuse me, here 0 has no impact, therefore that's the additive identity, but that's not coming here, uh, it's not coming up here. The transitive property says if you have two things that are equal, let's say x and y, and then you also have, let's say y equals z, therefore what? Well if x equals y and z equals y, then x must equal z. A nice example that one of my students came up with, her name is uh, Mai, she said that 1 half is equal to 2 fourths. And also, 2 fourths is equal to 3 sixths. Therefore, we can also reason, of course, that 1 half also equals 3 sixths. This is the transitive property in action. Thanks.